Hey everyone, this is Kathy. We're back on my channel. I know I took, I think, around a week, two weeks off after posting so much. Life happened, but I am back. And we have back to back to back to back to back to back videos of different planners. This was sponsored by the Crafters Marketplace. Um, these are just review units, so to speak. You know, in tech speak, we review units, we borrow them, and then we get them, uh, we give them back. So, you know, don't go crazy thinking I have all of these planners. This one is mine, but the rest of the planners are review units, so to speak. We will be giving them back because I wanted to show you guys what you can expect from each and every single planner. So, yes, this video um, that we will be recording is all about plannering, planneristas, planner girls, planner boys, planner gals. So, if this is something that you are into, Please stay tuned. Okay, we are back. So again, my name is Kathy, and I'm one of those people who likes to plan a little bit. And um, the one right in front of you is called the Budget Edition 12-Month Planner. And this is good for January to December of 2023 now heads up my nails have gone crazy i was supposed to do this last week but you know life happened so please try not to mind the nails i tried to prettify it for you guys but you know mom <laughs> okay so if um being authentic and real is your kind of thing i hope that you do subscribe like comment share any kind of interaction small super duper appreciated by small youtubers like myself so let's go ahead and open this okay so when you buy a happy planner you actually get something like this this is what tells you what's inside so as you can see here it says 12 month planner and then it says budget edition 2023 january to december there's also a french um version because this one came from happy planner happy planner canada okay so this is a budget planner and why is that because i actually had a thing before where also you can just easily take this off and there you go that's it we're just gonna have to get rid of this thing and here is my budget planner for 2023 okay so again the reason i got this is because i was actually able to do a no spend year i believe back in 2018 2017 no 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 2016 no spend year means i chose a few um niche in my life um i think it was toiletries makeup for me and clothes and then i made sure that i did not buy unless i absolutely had to it was a need a necessity not want or a desire and i was able to save around two hundred thousand for that year but after that everything handled with haywire and so this uh 2023 I am hoping to do the same thing because one, both of my kids are going to school and two, we should, you know, learn to all be financially savvy. So, this is my first two. This is the budget planner. Ah, it's so nice. It's like, hello, welcome to your happy planner. And this is the budget layout, okay? So, there is this thing here, which I will take off because, you know, this is mine and I can easily just put that back in, Okay and then there you go so it says hello the happy planner budget edition belongs to me okay but i'm not gonna write down on it just yet and then there you go so you have the annual spread which is pretty normal you have 2023 and says here set your goals okay 2023 set your goals 2024 napaka advanced thinking set your goals again okay so i don't know if i'm gonna write anything here i think we're gonna focus on 20 2023 first so that we don't overwhelm ourselves because sometimes when you're planning financially and you plan so far ahead but you're not used to it you can get overwhelmed and then your brain starts going you know what you're not gonna make it anyway so why bother so we're gonna try to avoid that okay and then here you go so there so it says here january 2023 financial goals do you see that and then here it says important dates and then unexpected spends keep track of events and unexpected expenses that pop up during the month for me normally it's like car um spending on the car if something breaks down i have a very old car 
um there and then live with less this is so true i love that okay and then here you have the month okay so this is january to january because a month ba? hello kenny <laughs> okay and then let's check <gasps> Oh, nice. Oh, this is nice. So it's okay. Let me just show it to you guys. Okay. Mm, let me try to to see what I can do to show this to you guys. Okay. Aha. Okay. So there you go. Um, so it says there date income one income two type expenses remaining. And then we have that which I super like. Okay. Wait, let's try there. So it says type income expenses remaining. So you can easily keep track. Makana ba kinita mo? How much did you earn? And then how much did you spend? And then you have housing, food, utilities, personal, transportation, entertainment, medical, and others. Ooh, I love that. Because I'm one of those people where I don't know where to categorize things. And they do it for you. I'm sure here. I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem. This is food because we spend so much on food. But this is a good way to actually track. Now, oh, if you're already here, maybe you need to, you know, pipe down a little bit on the spending, the ba? And of course, the utilities. And then I love that there's entertainment. So I can put our YouTube premium, our um, Spotify premium, things that keep us entertained. And then gas and medical. And then there's others. Okay, this is so nice. And then, uh huh. So, this is also a savings tracker. And then, no spend and account and debts. That's, yes, we do have. Um, we have our Shopee Pay. But I actually use that too. I use my um, affiliate incentive to pay off a little bit of the SP. So, that's a good thing. We have our home credit because we did buy a washing machine. We did buy an oven. And we bought my... Uh, my stuff here at behind me. Um, I'll show you guys later. So that's also something. But other than that, we don't have that. Thank you. And then it says here, no spend. I was telling you about this. Challenge yourself. No spend. Try not to spend on anything outside of necessities for at least one week during this month. Oh, you know, that's nice, ha? Huh? Because I think this is more feasible, especially for people who are new to it. Because if you do a no spend year in just one go, I think it will drive you nuts and then it will backfire. I think that's what happened with me. I did it for a year. I kind of backfired and I bought everything that I wanted and I kept telling myself, I deserve this, I deserve this. But guess what? You also deserve to have a savings account with actual money in it and not just like zeros, okay? So this is how the planner looks like from afar. There, okay? So... So you can see there's a lot of space, you know. That's why I love the Happy Planner because there's a lot of space where I can write things down. Okay, and again, that's just me. No hate on anyone who does bujo and can do like the travel notebook. I think is how they call it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, best buy ever. So we have the weekly expenses, guys. This is so awesome. Date, expense, description, amount. Oh, ah, where do I deserve a gold star? It says here, where do I deserve a gold star? Is there anything I can do better next week? No judgment. Just, you know, helping you out. Oh my gosh, I love this. There's a weekly expenses thing. Because right now, what I have been doing is actually this, okay? um, To show you guys how I used to track my expenses. Let me show you. Okay, so like this one. I'd actually put, oh, uh, see, like, tomorrow we have to buy rice and then milk, and I would put it here, and normally it would be, like, bigas, then how much it is, gatas, and how much it is. So, it's not really the best way to go about things, which is why I got the budget planner, okay? Wow, this is so nice, and then you have the weekly expenses, week on week, per month, and then you have this. I guess for me, I'd put like mementos here. Maybe we ate somewhere because I do still plan on eating out, okay? I don't want to deprive our family. I do want to save money, but I also don't want to get to the point where we're just depriving ourselves of things. That's not good because again, it will backfire on you, okay? And then has here a check it off, okay? Check it off. 
Oh, so nice. And then, it's important. So, like for me, important would most likely be housing. Siyempre, the rent, water, stuff. And, or this could be like other important things since we already have that in the monthly part. There you go. And then, you go back now to the other format. So, this is the format of the budget edition planner. I am super in love with it. As someone who has been trying to really track down costs, this year, actually, I kind of gave up halfway of the year. I didn't track anymore. I just tracked the important expenses, um, which is not really the best thing. <laughs> because, with, no, I didn't know where the other money went to now. That's why I want to do better in 2023. And don't worry, yes, I'll do a monthly update next year just to show you guys if this is something that works. And then here you have budget, budget, budget. Okay, and then let's see what March has to say. Pinch those pennies. Very American, no? April has nothing. And then May has... Start each day with a positive thought. And then let's see. June. Save today. Spend tomorrow. Mmm. And you say that every day. So you don't spend. <laughs> and then we have... The future is super bright. I agree. And then dream big. Dream often. Then let's go. Let go and grow. And saving for a rainy day. Nothing again for November. What's up with April and November? And then it goes create there. Okay. So this is the Happy Planner Budget Edition. Then then it says plan a happy life. So true. Because actually you can plan a happy life. There will be challenges. There will be things that will get in the way. But it is up to you what you do with your life if you want to make it happy or not and then that's your choice okay i've had a lot of tragedies i did for a time mope but you know when i decided i want to do better i did get better and so can you i hope you like this um flip through of the budget edition happy planner we have more in the future so make sure you subscribe bye